I got another one. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I knew that was a money cast. Hey, yo, folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Guys, comment dates popping up down below. So go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys already know, thank you very much for 300,000 subscribers. We're getting so many new viewers on the channel. So if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. If you decide you hate me later, you can always unsubscribe. We're doing crazy fishing things every day. And starting today, out, we are here actually hopping out of the, uh, the old Toyota Corolla rental car because we are in Texas. We actually just got done filming a uh, Guggen Squad photo shoot in the headquarters. And I'm here. actually, yeah, you've never seen me wearing performance gear or the UV shirts or anything in my videos really i used to wear them way back in the day but i just started not liking how they felt but this feels super good i'm pumped i think the design is so cool too i love like little things on big designs if that makes sense and then the shorts are awesome too they got i mean american flag on them so how can you hate that and also guys this stuff is like uv50 i think something like that yes. uv50 protection it's odor. like anti-odor and i do be smelling after i fish sometimes my parents tell me that every time i go over and hang out with them they're like you need to go take a shower because you've been sweating all day so this stuff guys doesn't like trap odor and i actually like i love the shirts but anyways today Today, because we were in Texas and we were doing a shoot, we decided we'd go to the world's biggest tackle store, which is actually a Shields. Guys, I kind of want Bigfoot for my backyard. Dude. He's only um, three thousand five hundred, or yeah, three thousand five hundred dollars. Get a seat, Bill. Yeah. You let him ride on your boat. It's only fair. That would be the epic fishing partner. <laughs> there is quite literally hundreds of fishing reels here. Whatever the most expensive fishing reel is, we are purchasing, and we're gonna try to catch some big fish on today, guys. There is tons and tons of reel. I'm nervous for my own bank account right now, but this is by far the most reels I've ever seen in a tackle shop so they might be like you know there's 150 dollar bait casters but why would you buy however right. most the okay. uh, most expensive one is going to be yep. i'm terrified right now to uh to buy this thing to even yeah. see what they have over here yeah. like this would have been a much better video to film at a walmart or a bass pro <laughs> shops <laughs> but we literally chose like the biggest fishing store uh. so the if any store is going to have like a dummy expensive reel, it's, gotta it's going to be they this one. They have a Ferris wheel here, bro. They have a Ferris, they have a Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Of course they they're going to have an expensive reel. They <laughs> have 2,000 bows just on display. They have a zebra. So there's the, I mean, who else has a zebra? Right here, we're starting with, uh, you know, the Zepcos, which are, you know, a nice 20 or $30. I'm pretty positive. I mean, this is not going to be the most expensive. Mm, probably not. Store, but I wish it was because this is about to be a lot of money spent today, Yak. That's a beefy Zepco, by the way. That's a beefy boy. <laughs> the 33 Max. Yeah. There's a glass case over here that I really am excited to look in. And if they have these on display and they're this much, whatever's protected over there has got to be that much more expensive. I don't even feel like I should be holding this right now. Um, this is a $800 Exist LT 2000 reel. I didn't know that spinning reels, ex I, I knew there was expensive spinning reels, but I didn't know you could walk into a store and see an $800 reel just sitting there. I'm going to give this back to you because yeah, I wanted the sure. bait caster today and I feel like people were buying the most expensive reel. I guess will be that $700 one. So they're both in the same category. What do you think, Yak Pack? I'd rather spend $700 on a bait caster and a spinning reel because I'll yeah, use the bait caster more. People yeah. want to see the bait caster. That is cool though. That's crazy that there's a $800 spinning reel. How often do you guys sell the most expensive reels in here? Like how long has that been sitting there we've had a couple people come in and, and buy them but not nearly as much as like the slx's or yeah or or some of the loose mocks or whatever only a couple piece magnesium frame it's a 70 size reel but it's got a smaller housing than like your typical 70 size reel uh, gotcha. 30 millimeter spool super light so like light baits uh, weightless Texas rigs, flukes, you know, little, little jerk baits, little crank baits, stuff like that. It doesn't require as much braking because of the spool weight, I guess. It casts beautifully. It's super light. It's got a really smooth drag and it's also saltwater proof. So sweet. If it's saltwater proof, so, it's definitely freshwater proof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep this thing. Like the reason I wanted to do this because as you saw in my truck breaking video, I had like 12 reels stolen from me and I bought a ton of Shimano's and I was going to make a video on for you guys. But uh, so I need to re up on these things and I thought it would be cool to upgrade my arsenal with like the most expensive reel. And I'm, I'm pumped to try this out, man. I never heard about it before we walked into the store. I can tell you guys right now, even with this whole thing on it, it's light, like including the whatever you would call this. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll get this. Gonna go with that today? Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, we're doing it. We're, we're doing, doing it. it. All we're right, doing cool. it. Sweet. What's up, folks? We're back in Florida. I'm mad, though. I'm mad. You guys might have heard some popping this video. We had a banger vlog with this reel right here, and the microphone start, started acting up. But now we got a new mic. It's working, right? Because I spent $700 on this reel, and it, the whole vlog was trash. Carl's Bait and Tackle is sponsored this video, which you guys are just hearing about now because of my intro. Anyways, today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle, guys. Carl's is the best place to buy tackle. Better than Walmart, better than Academy, better than Bass Pro Shops. They got the best deals online. Use code NORM, you save extra money. So if you guys want to check out Carl's Bait and Tackle, it'll be linked down below. Make sure to use code NORM and you save extra cash on basically the widest selection of fishing lures 
forever and they're shipped right to your door and they help buy us a new microphone and this fishing reel and they're making these videos possible so if you guys support carl's you're also supporting fishing with norm so thank you guys very much so we have the world's most expensive reel quite literally we went to texas went in the world's biggest tackle shop and bought the most expensive bait caster reel there was one spinning reel that was like 850 dollars but i never used spinning combo so i figured we'd do like the world's most expensive bait caster which we have here this right here the box i mean it's it's very Sleek. I didn't know Daiwa made the most expensive reels. I was thinking it would have been a Shimano. And maybe Shimano does make a more expensive baitcaster than this. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, like what the actual most expensive baitcaster is. This is by far the most expensive one we could find in a store. This is the CTSV TW700XH. And I don't know what that stands for, but I'm super pumped. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this thing for you guys real quick. So when you open the box, kind of like this too, it has a little plaque right here, which tells you everything about it. You open it up, it comes with its own like protective reel sleeve. So you know this thing is pretty pricey. So we open this up right here. Oh snap. It's like you're unboxing like a new pair of headphones or something. <laughs> Dang guys. So look at this reel right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when I tell you this is the lightest reel I've ever held in my whole entire life, it really is. The most expensive reel I've ever fished with before this was a $350 reel and it was amazing. But this one, how much better could you get than a $350 reel? Might be something you guys are asking. Just by holding this, from my understanding, this whole frame is like aluminum aircraft metal or something. It's all like one piece, which makes it lighter. And everything about this reel is lighter on it. Like coming down to even the handles, look at this. On the inside, it's like open air pockets just to reduce the overall heaviness of the reel. And everything's made out of either that aluminum aircraft metal that they use on spaceships or like carbon fiber. It's, it's, we almost lost the box. <laughs> this truly is absolutely insane. And I bought this because I really wanted like a really nice reel for me to use. For you guys in the videos, I'm saying for you guys, it's just really a selfish move. I really want an expensive reel. <laughs> we're, we're doing a giveaway in the next video too, but this is for me. You know, I had to spoil myself just a little bit and I wanted something really nice that I could throw like lighter stuff on. And this is exactly what this reel is made for. It's not really made for like heavier lures. Like you wouldn't throw a frog on this. It has a really small like line capacity. But when we're talking like weightless, like Cinco's flukes, even like finesse, like Ned rig, stuff like that. Even maybe like micro fishing, like micro traps, maybe even like a regular size trap. This is the perfect thing for it. And just without it even on. It is so smooth, guys. It's too smooth. It's weird. It doesn't feel like a real fishing reel. I think this might be worth the 700, which is a bull claim. We're going to go fishing with it. But just by feeling this thing, it is absolutely insane. And watch this. So when you click the thumb right here, this opens up. And when you click it, it comes back and that helps you like prevent backlashes it's, it's crazy how much is in this reel and how like little it weighs this is a super small reel too i wish we had another reel to compare it to but we don't some reels like they're overcompensating they add some cool colors or you know this that and other it knows what it wants to be it's silver it's got a little bit of like purple accents right there just two pieces but it's just a clean looking reel i love this thing man and i haven't even fished with it yet so right here i actually kind of want to open this and see what's inside please let me not break a 700 dollars reel that would not be good here's the inside I really wish I could tell you guys, I don't really take apart rods and reels too often. That's the braking system. I mean, I don't know. That looks good to me, right? That's what the inside of a $700 reel looks like. And what's weird is the other $300 reels I have, they have like little brakes and you have to flip switches. This one doesn't even have switches on the inside. So that's how I know it's like high quality. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a whole nother level. It's just a different reel. Can they hear the clicking? The clicking star drag. Oh, it sounds so good. I've never heard a baitcaster with that beautiful sound before. That sounds amazing. We're gonna have to put this thing to the test. I love the star drag, it sounds so good. I feel like they were trying to save like some weight on this thing, they didn't wanna make it weigh anymore, so they added like some weird tension knob. That's like my only critique, is the tension knob is so weird to use. You know what I mean? It's like hard to turn. You have to like get your fingernail in there and turn it. But I think what they were trying to do is save weight on the reel and not add like another piece there. But uh, overall, I'm super impressed just like by feeling this thing. I feel like I'm holding a, a newborn baby. I mean, this is by far the coolest reel I will have ever fished with. All right, guys, so I'm tying on a, uh, a little Ned rig that I got off of Carl's Bane Tackle right now. What's cool about this baitcaster is a lot of these techniques that I can finally use on this would normally be for like a spinning reel, but I can throw like a Ned rig. I can throw the light stuff with this baitcaster, which is why I'm most pumped that I got this one. I really want to see how a fish feels against this reel, and I really want to see how it casts too. So guys, here's the reel on a rod, which I think looks amazing. I think that looks super super clean normally when you cast super light things it's really easy to backlash i'm excited to see today if this thing backlashes at all i'm hoping if i paid 700 dollars that it doesn't all right first cast with the brand new reel let's try it out dude i didn't even have to thumb it holy cow 
I don't even have to put my thumb on this bait caster. That's gonna be weird to get used to. Holy cow! I've never in my life had a bait caster that I didn't have to thumb. And it didn't backlash. That's impressive. That's really impressive. It's super, super smooth. I will say that it's definitely the smoothest reel I've ever fished with before. And I almost don't like how smooth it is. Uh, I don't even feel like I'm reeling. I'm just my my bait's already halfway back in. And I forgot that I even reeled. It's that smooth. Oh my goodness. Oh geez. My bait's already here. I didn't even know it was out of the water yet. All right, with no breaks, we're going to see if this thing backlashes with a tiny, tiny net rig. Which every other bait caster I have, it probably would. Dude. Dude. Did it cast it all the way? I don't know how, how far you guys can see, but all the way to that little drainage pipe. Dude, this thing casts far. It doesn't backlash. This is almost unfair for the fish, man. This is almost unfair. I say that and watch me not catch anything. I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. I do not regret spending all that money on the reel now. This is nice. This is luxury. Dude, it's going to be so hard to use a $300 reel after using this thing. <laughs> this is like the Tesla of reels, I feel like. It's like the electronic version. I think it's got to have some type of chip in it so it doesn't like backlash. I don't know. Like, watch this, man. I'm just going to sling it. And so we have a little bit there, but that was without thumb. So if I barely thumb it, I can cast it all the way out there. And it's a Ned rig, too. Like normally like the weighted stuff is easier to cast because it takes the line out quicker. I don't even get the science on how it can do that. That's crazy. Now we got to see how this thing holds up against a fish, which I'm going to try to do. But pond fishing in the summer, especially here in Tallahassee, has been at an all time low. Borderline impossible. There's been a couple days where we've gone out with Yak Pack. and caught absolutely nothing in like 14 hours. So we're going to try today. I mean, we got the best reel on our side to make it happen. And I tied on a Ned Rig too, thinking, you know, we get a little bit more finesse, maybe we'll catch some numbers. So I'm just gonna get in the zone here with my new reel. I got, you, when you get a new reel, your first fishing trip, you have to catch a fish on it. Or else I, I will throw my reel in the water. I'll do it. I want you guys to comment down below if there is a more expensive bait caster because we've been in like hundreds of stores over the past few years. Never have I seen a bait caster this expensive on the shelf. So if you guys know of a more expensive bait caster, let me know, maybe, um, I'll buy it. But this starts thundering. I mean, we are on the only piece of structure on a whole flat pond. So if it thunders once, we gotta make a run for it, dude. The rain's freezing, dude. Come on, we just need, we just need one fish before we can go. That's all I want. We gotta catch one on the new reel or else I have to throw it in the water. If it, if it lightnings, though, we legit gotta dip. Because this is like one of the things, this is like a lightning attractor, what we're, what we're under right now. Like, we'll die. Yeah, I got aircraft home. aluminum on my reel, too. I'm sure that's a great electricity conductor. Hey, yo, Rain, chill, bro. It's not that serious. Oh, uh, no. I'm hoping we can find a gap in these storms so we can, like, go fish. Oh, it's slowing down right when I said that. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go try to fish the bank with this thing. I don't know. I'll have to see how bad this is. Nobody goes to this extent to review a reel. We're putting it against the elements. You know, you'd think if I bought a $700 reel, I'd catch a fish, you know? That'd be crazy. Well, it's thundering. It's getting unsafe. And I still have yet to catch a fish on a $700 reel. I do not know what we're going to do from here, but it's bad. Come on. That thunder does not sound good, bro. <laughs> at least we're around trees. So at least the trees will get struck and not us. I think that's how that works. This used, to, this used to be my favorite spot on the pond too. I used to be able to come here and catch 10 fish standing in the same exact spot. It's a saucy little spot, man, but I, it, I, I think the pressure has just ruined this whole entire pond. It's crazy to come in with something as small as a little finesse rig and be able to cast it as far as we can and get one bite. And I've seen pictures of people fishing out here like a lot, but I didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> Oh, this is not looking good, dude. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. I hate this reel, man. <laughs> Frick, he was... He jumped off right there. I needed him so bad, dude. Maybe this is just an unlucky reel. Maybe we shouldn't have got it. I don't know, guys. I might have to give it away. Dude, he ate it right at the bank. And I had him. And I literally I literally was like, yes, we completed the challenge. But no. I literally had him here. I pulled him up here and he just got off in the thing and, and swam off. No. Guys, that might have been our last shot at a fish. 
Oh, I cannot believe he got off. I just wanted to touch him so bad. This reel can flip pretty good though, guys. So that's that's cool. Oh my gosh, man. Oh. Guys, this is such a Got him, got him, got him. Stay on, stay on, please, please, I need you, I need you. Yes! <laughs> Thank goodness, right before the hurricane comes in, guys. Or the tropical storm. The cat seven. I've never been so happy to catch a one pounder my whole entire life, guys. Look at that. I hooked him good that time. You know, we set the hook, you know, shoot or shoot, as I like to say. We tightened it up on that one, boys. No slack, no slack. There we go. Look at that little Ned rig. And boom, we caught ourselves a little one pounder. I am so pumped for that. I've never been so happy to catch one. Literally with probably, I mean, by the time we get back to the car, it's probably going to dump down rain on us. So um, I'm pumped to catch that, especially after missing two. I thought that, you know, we were just about to have to post a video with no fish for you guys, but we ended up catching this one. I'm pumped for that. We're going to let him go. See you, buddy. All right. Another tradition, too. You can't end it on a fish catch. You know what I mean? So I got to at least make one more cast. <laughs> As it starts raining and getting windy here. <laughs> we might get stuck in the rain, but it's worth it. It's for fishing tradition. I also don't think from this angle too, like seriously how I caught that fish, I don't think anybody's been able to cast that far in that spot before. Dude, I got another one. It's that spot, man. <laughs> yes. They're stacked out there, dude. We finally found them. Yes. Look at that, dude. That's two fish. That's why you never end on a fish catch because there's another one always chilling with them. And in the summertime, they stack up, guys. So when you find one fish in the summer, a lot of times you'll find multiple. That reel, really, I would not be able to reach that with any other reel with a Ned Rig. These fish haven't been touched, I don't think. Look at them. Healthy, fat fish right there. Florida bass, number two. That was crazy. See you, buddy. All right. You know, you know what they say. Can't end it on a fish catch. So we're going to go out there again. All right, here we go. See, I can bomb those casts out there. And I'm sure somebody's casting you know, like a big jig out there or something, but nobody's gotten there with their finesse baits all the way out there. It's starting to rain too, but it's bearable, you know? It won't be in about 10 minutes according to the radar, but the weatherman said that this rainstorm wasn't even supposed to come for another two hours. Frick, dude! I almost took your head off, I'm sorry. I just had another bite, that was three casts in a row. I was trying to give them the 3D action of the lure flying towards their face. That was a money cast, dude, holy cow. We are in there, baby. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> I knew that was a money cast. Dude, he ate it up and under that tree. A third one. Even though they're dinks, they're chunky little healthy fish, man. It's so cool too, like using like a little finesse technique, which I don't get to do too often, you know. I love throwing the Ned Rig. It's super cool using the little Ned Rig and just hopping it around with this reel and stuff too. Like doing a little bit of micro fishing, even though it's not micro fishing technically, I guess. It's so cool to like kind of finesse these bass out of their natural habitats and the trees and the grass. It's a lot of fun. It's a little different type of fishing that this reel is gonna allow me to do, which I'm pumped about. But uh, boom, fish number three. <laughs> so we have officially missed two and caught three. So we, it would have been a five fish day at like probably the most pressured pond of my city. I seriously think this reel has helped me get in spots the other anglers have not been able to get in yet with uh, lures that they haven't been able to throw that far. All right, guys, we just changed like freshly into new clothes. The storm's coming in like five minutes and we're not gonna be able to fish for three days, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think the reel, hands down, the best reel I've ever fished with, even out of like my own combos and other people's combos that I've borrowed, by far the best bait caster. It's just that $700 mark is pretty crazy. But overall, like the reel was absolutely amazing and you guys will have to subscribe and hit the bell to see more videos with this reel in future upcoming videos. But yeah, until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump, I'm out of here.